Hey guys, what's up? It's Mr. Kane Productions and welcome back to another Hearts of Iron 4 modding video. So today we're going to learn how to put uh, custom loading screens into our game. So the pictures you see while Hearts of Iron 4 is loading, we're going to go ahead and change those. So first off under your mod folder, go to your GFX and then make a new folder called loading screens just like that and then under here you should see the same thing right so if we click in the main hearts of iron folder you'll see load one load two load three load four load five etc all the way to load eight right so i have eight separate pictures here just to represent our mod and um, if we go ahead and click on these i'm using a program called xn convert so this is uh what will be in the description to download so you can actually view the dds files but if we click on these right here, you can see this is the main picture, uh, like on the main menu background. So make sure when you put in your load five, you want this to be your main menu background. But since we've just clicked on this one, all we're going to do is go to output here. And we're going to make a TGA file. And it's just going to be on our desktop. So if we click convert, we should see a TGA file. There we go. It says load underscore five underscore result. Remember when putting this into your game, you want to go ahead and get rid of this underscore result. We do not want that or else it won't read it. So then all I'm going to do with this TGA file is open it up in my photo editor. Just paste these photos over it. So for example, I'll paste the one over it and then save that as load underscore one, et cetera, et cetera, with two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then I will be back once I've got these files in a TGA. All right, guys, so I've done my photo editing and I have all of the photos in their TGA formats now. So once you've done this, we're going to want to click the link in the description below for this free online converter. So TGA to DDS. And all I'm going to do is select the file. So for example, here I selected load underscore one dot TGA and then make sure this is at 24 bits per pixel, which is basically how or what the game reads. And then all we're going to do is click convert file and it's going to convert it. And then once it does that, it should download it uh, to wherever your Chrome or like Firefox or wherever it downloads to. And then all we're going to do is drag this onto our desktop or actually all we're going to do is drag this into our loading screen folder here, right? So it successfully converted and then you'll see it downloads it. So all we're going to do is drag this here and mine has a little two next to it. I don't know if yours will, but it's probably because of the infection mod. So I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of that. And there you go. You have your first loading screen in. So all you have to do is open up like a bunch of tabs of this and have it convert the files at the exact same time so i'll go ahead and do that while we're waiting all right guys so you can see i am done here i have them all converted to dds now and if you click on them with xn convert you can see the different files and how they've changed so six here is different from this six here so we can go ahead and just play our hearts of iron 4 mod and once we hit play, we need to once again enable our mod here. Then just hit play. And you should see the loading screens have changed. And that's all you really need. <laughs> As you can see, we just have some generic business pictures. And there's like a couple towers and stuff like that. Some of the people's heads get cut off. But that's just because it, it doesn't uh, save the photos in a 16 by 9 format. Which is fine. You can just adjust the photos. But it works fairly well. This is fine too. <laughs> this is, don't worry about that. This is just for flag stuff. But it works good. All of the loading screen is, basically the loading screens are working. And then the menu screen should be working if we come up onto that. So there it is. There's our nice little menu screen. Not the clearest in the world, but... I mean, I'm sure you can find some pictures to fit your mod. And if we go to single player here, our mod still completely works. We have our YouTube land, our flag, our leader, everything like that. So since there are eight, you won't get all eight pictures every time. So you might have to reload it a couple times, reload the game a couple times just to get all eight pictures and make sure they're all working fine. 
But that's about it for today's tutorial. I hope you all did enjoy. Remember to like if this tutorial helped you all. And you guys have been smashing that like button recently, so thank you for that. But until next time, take care. Bye-bye.